CapCut is the most viral and best editing software for beginners. Actually, it's simple, easy to use, but way more powerful than you think. CapCut has a lot of pre-made effects, animations, and more. You can elevate a video in just one click. But here's the big question. Can CapCut create professional level edits? Yes. In this video, I'll reveal pro-level editing secrets in CapCut that will take your skills to the next level. Let's jump in and start mastering CapCut like a pro. Alright, let's start with our first effect, Color Isolation. This effect makes one color stand out while turning everything else black and white, giving your video a super cinematic look. You've probably seen this in Mr. Beast's videos and other eye-catching edits. Now, let's create it in CapCut. First, import your clip and add it to the timeline. Then, go to the Adjustment section and find the HSL tab. You'll see different color sliders here. Pick the color you want to highlight, let's say blue. You'll find cyan and blue sliders so adjust both to make the blue pop. Increase their saturation, then lower the saturation of all other colors to the minimum. And just like that, you've got an awesome, professional-looking color isolation effect in just a few simple steps. Our second effect is the light sweep effect. This effect makes even boring objects look clean and professional. First, I add my clip to the timeline and make a duplicate by pressing Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V. Then, I go to the adjustment section of the duplicated clip and click on the curve tab. You'll see a white graph at the top. Adjust the graph like this. After tweaking, the object turns bright white, which looks awesome. Now, go to the video section and click on the mask tab. Select the mirror option. Rotate it to negative 45 degrees. Adjust the size to around 60 and feather it to 15. Feel free to play around with what works for your shot. Now, let's animate it. Go to the start of the clip, add a mask keyframe, and drag the mirror mask to the top left corner. Then, move forward about a second and drag the mask to the bottom right corner. If it feels a little boring, don't worry. I adjust the keyframe graph for smoother motion. If you're not sure how keyframes work, I already made a full keyframe breakdown video you can check out. After that, I compound both clips together and add a glow effect to spice things up. I also throw in a few overlays in the background for extra sharp vibes. It's all about creativity here. And boom, here's the final touch. The third effect is the spotlight mask effect. It might look like a professional animation, but it's actually super easy to create. First, I add a text layer to the timeline and type in my text. I customize the font and color. I'm using blue for this one. Then, I right-click the clip and select Create Compound Clip. Next, I go to the Mask tab under the Video section and choose the Circle Mask option. I adjust the mask size to be a bit smaller and set the feather to around 15 for a smooth edge. Now it's time to animate it. I add keyframes to the mask's position at different points in the clip, moving it across the text to create that spotlight motion. One keyframe before the end, I add another keyframe for size, and at the final frame, I increase the size of the mask to give it that smooth finishing touch. To make it even cooler, I right-click on the clip, select Show Keyframe Animation, and adjust the Position X and Position Y graphs by applying the Cubic Out preset. This makes the movement smoother and more dynamic. I also add a glow effect for a more eye-catching look, and that's it. You've got a clean, smooth spotlight animation. Effect number four is the Text Match Cut. This one is commonly used by documentary editors, and it's great for highlighting important words on screen. First, we need some documentary-style screenshots about your topic. So, search your topic with Wikipedia on Google. For example, I searched CapCut Wikipedia, and I took a few screenshots showing the word CapCut in different text styles. Then, import those images into your CapCut timeline, scale them up, and position the highlighted word in the center of the screen. Next, add a text layer. Press the spacebar a few times to create a blank rectangle. Scroll down, enable the background option, and pick the second style. Choose a color for the highlight. I'm going with yellow. Now, lower the opacity just a bit so you can line it up with the word underneath and then center it. Adjust the screenshot so it fits perfectly behind the text. Then, move five frames forward using the right arrow key and cut the clip there. Add your next image, scale it, and center it, just like before. Repeat this for each image you have. After that, bring the rectangle's opacity back to 100 and set its blend mode to multiply. If it feels too plain, let's animate it. Go to the mask tab of the text layer and choose the split mask. Rotate it 90 degrees and place it on the left side of the text. Add a keyframe there. Then, go to the end of the clip and move the mask to the right side of the text for a smooth reveal. Next, let's add sound. Go to the audio section, open the sound effects tab, and search for tick. Add that ticking sound at each split point between the clips to boost the rhythm. To finish it off, let's add a few effects. Add vignette, 
then hazy to blur the background slightly, and chromatic quirk for a digital vibe. And finally, add wide angle for a cinematic look. After that, select all the clips, make a compound clip, and finally add motion blur, setting it around 50. Wait a few seconds to process, and you're done. You've just made a clean pro-level match cut effect. The fifth effect is the counting effect. Popular animation often seen in After Effects edits. I'll show you two types of this effect. The first one is a custom digit scroll. Start by creating a separate text layer for each digit in your number. For example, if you're using a three digit number, make three text layers. In each text layer, type the digits zero to nine, pressing enter after each one so they appear on separate lines. At the beginning of each layer, add a transform keyframe and place zero at the center of the screen. Then, move a few frames forward and position your final digit at the center. Repeat this for each layer. Add a transform keyframe at the start, center the zero, go a few frames forward, and center the last digit. You can stagger the second keyframe positions to create different scroll speeds for each digit. Once all layers are animated, choose a clean font to improve the visual style. Then select all text layers and create a compound clip. Head over to the Mask tab, add a rectangle mask to reveal just the digit area, and set the feather to around 30 for a smooth transition. Finally, apply Motion Blur, setting it to 30 for a sleek and professional scroll animation. The second version is the Timeline Scroll Effect, ideal for counting years, months, or even custom words. Start by creating a text layer and listing your values vertically, like months from January to December, with each word on a new line. Choose a simple font for clarity. At the beginning of the clip, add a transform keyframe and place the first word in the center of the screen. Then, move about two seconds forward and bring the last word to the center. Once you've lined it up, right-click the layer and select Show Variable Speed Animation. Then adjust the Y-axis graph to create a smooth scroll. After that, right-click again and create a compound clip. Go to the Mask tab, apply a rectangle mask to isolate the visible text area, and set the feather to around 20 for a soft edge. Finally, add Motion Blur to smooth out the motion. And that's it! You've now created a clean, animated counting effect right inside CapCut. The sixth effect is the Timer Ring a clean and professional way to display countdowns. Start by adding a text layer to your timeline and type the letter O, scale it up, and change the font to something thinner and more rounded. I'm using the Red Hat font. Adjust the size and place it in the center of the screen, then change its color to gray. Now, duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V. On the duplicated layer, change the color to something brighter. I'm choosing blue. Next, go to the Animation section. Click on the Out tab and choose the Clock Wipe animation. Select both clips and extend them to match the duration of your countdown. I'm creating a 10-second countdown, so I'll extend both clips to the 10-second mark. Go back to the Animation settings and increase the animation length to the maximum. You'll see a smooth wipe effect, but it's moving in the wrong direction. To fix that, right-click the top layer, create a compound clip, and hit the reverse button. Now it rotates the way we want. Time to add the counting numbers, but instead of wasting time creating multiple text layers and manually typing every number, here's a simple trick. Go to ChatGPT and ask it to create an SRT file for a 10 second countdown. Copy the result, paste it into Notepad, and save it with an .srt extension. Then go to the Caption tab in CapCut and import your saved SRT file. Finally, apply a digital style font to match the timer theme, and that's it. You've created a smooth and stylish timer ring with automated countdown numbers. The seventh and final effect is the cinematic intro. Start by adding a text layer and typing in your title or name. Choose a font that gives a professional vibe. I'm using the Red Hat font here. You can customize the look further by adding color strokes and shadows, but in this case, I'm heading straight to the Effects tab. Apply the cinematic 3D effect. Once that's done, right-click on the clip and create a compound clip. Next, go to the Mask tab and add a film strip mask. Rotate it to negative 55 degrees and adjust the mask size so it's not too wide or too narrow. Then, increase the feather to around 70 for a soft transition. Now, add a mask keyframe at the beginning and place the mask at the top left corner. Then, at the end, move the mask to the bottom right corner. 
Switch to the Basic tab and add a transform keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Scale it down to 80%. At the end of the clip, set the scale back to 100% to create a subtle zoom-in animation. Right-click the clip again and make Compound Clip. Finally, apply a glow effect. Set the glow to 15 and increase the size to the maximum. That's it! It works just as smoothly. So, in the last 10 minutes, we explored seven amazing effects that can take your edits to a whole new level. Each one adds a unique, professional touch to your videos. Stay tuned with us, because I'm here to help you become a true pro editor using CapCut. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.